Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at What a Legend. This is a free-to-play comedic harem adventure that I covered in my very first video, Top New Adult Game Patreons of 2020. Since then, What a Legend has continued to grow in popularity and has recently broken into the Top 100 Adult Game Patreons. So why has What a Legend become so popular so quickly? The story is funny and entertaining, but there are lots of games with good plots. The hand-drawn characters and backgrounds are gorgeous, but beautiful games are becoming extremely common as the space continues to grow. I think we need to take a step back and look at the adult games industry as a whole in order to figure out why What a Legend is so popular. Our current renaissance of Western adult games is hugely fueled by the Japanese games industry. RPG Maker is Japanese. All of those Honey Select and Koikatsu models are from Illusion, a Japanese company. Renpai may not be Japanese, but visual novels have been popular in Japan since the 1980s. So far, we're seeing two main types of games coming out. The first type uses RPG Maker or Renpai to tell a story. Gameplay elements tend to be secondary or completely disregarded. Many people joke about skipping dialogue and story in order to get to the sexual content. Some of the most popular mods are the ones that either tell you all the right choices or just let you select all of the sexual interactions, completely bypassing, you know, the game. These just become pretty choose your own adventure stories where people don't even bother with the adventure. The second style we see is taking established video game genres like shooters, puzzles, side-scrollers, and RPGs and adding sexual content. In these games, either the gameplay is lacking or the sexual interactions are ridiculous. Even in the cases where the gameplay and adult content are great, they rarely blend into each other perfectly. Subverse is a great example of this. The gameplay and sexual interactions are great, but they tie in together awkwardly at best. StarCraft II took real-time strategy battles and action RPG missions and combined them seamlessly with the Terran Battlecruiser, Zerg Hive, or Protoss Mothership depending on which campaign you were playing through. Now, that's not being entirely fair to Studio Foul. StarCraft II may be the gold standard when it comes to weaving together different video game themes and genres into a cohesive whole. Also, there isn't a current team of developers anywhere close to the talent that went into making StarCraft II or WarCraft III. Today's Blizzard is such a decayed, festering corpse that it could be a boss in Diablo. Over at EA, they can't decide if they're more committed to harming employees or exploiting children. And as we learned last summer, Ubisoft's mission statement seems to be sexually assaulting as many of its employees as possible. So I would relax, Studio Foul. Even if you don't make a masterpiece, the bar is currently really, really low. But occasionally, we get a game like Summertime Saga that takes an established style and weaves adult content into the story in a way that makes both the sexual interactions and the plot compelling. That is why I think What a Legend is so popular. I could just say that it's King's Quest with sex, but that misses the point. Most adventure video games that have come out over the last 40 years have been really poor or bad. Just as most Renpai adult content games are also really poor or bad. We get so used to mediocre gaming experiences that we latch on to the stories, flavors, or fun that great games give us. On the surface, What a Legend seems like any other point-and-click adventure game. It uses established tropes and narratives straight out of Grimm's fairy tales, but then it also gives us over-the-top comedic scenarios reminiscent of Monty Python, combined with a modern, slightly dim, fourth-wall-breaking anti-hero. Blizzard didn't create the RTS or the MMO. It just made better polished versions. What a Legend is a more polished adult content adventure, arguably even better polished than Summertime Saga. The hand-drawn art is some of the best in the industry. The animations are great, but silent. The music is awesome and the game is full of ambient sound effects like fire crackling, water running, wolves howling, or birds chirping. I felt like I was in the middle of a Disney movie, but I do feel kind of bad about what I did to Tinkerbell. Currently, the flavors are limited in this heterosexual male harem adventure. This includes voyeurism, transformation, and monster girls. The development team, Magic Nuts, plans to include femdom, power exchange, and impregnation as time progresses. What a Legends Patreon has been live for almost a year, and a new build comes out every three to four months. There is excellent transparency about the status and progress of each new build that anyone can view on the main Patreon page. 
The development team is a married couple, and well, I know how tough it is to work with family, so I hope everything goes as smoothly as possible. Games like What a Legend give me a lot of hope and excitement for the future of the adult games industry. It shows that a small team or individual can still come up with a great idea and achieve funding quickly. And I mean it's not like I don't have hope for the greater games industry either. I'm really excited about Dreamhaven. It's a company made up of highly talented Blizzard Exiles. Speaking of Blizzard Exiles, check out the Kickstarter of Chris Metzen's D&D campaign setting, Ouroboros. Well, if you like D&D, that is. Anyways, this was a longer video. I did say I'd do one when I had something to talk about. What a Legend gave me something to talk about, because it's an amazing game. It has the potential to dethrone Summertime Saga as the best adult content adventure game. There is no guarantee, but the art, story, polish, and pacing are already way ahead of where Dark Cookie was after a year of development. I am really loving What a Legend. This adventure game is actually a great game with or without the adult content. I can't wait to see where the story will take us and I'm really looking forward to sharing my experiences playing future builds with all of you. I know there was a bit more than usual to unpack in this video. But let me know what you agree with, and especially what you may disagree with. I know I'm going to be wrong a lot, and it still amazes me how polite and helpful everyone is when they bring it to my attention. So what do you think? But remember, no shaming, just gaming.